Today I'm going to talk about several things that can improve your life drastically that you would have wished you had done sooner. This is for everyone that works a Monday to Friday or a 9 to 5 or whatever, but stop waiting to live your life on the weekends. Yeah, you may be tired from work, you may be exhausted, you don't need to only plan fun events on the weekends just because you have to work that day, evening, night, whatever. Try to squeeze out as much fun and as much activity as possible. You know, as long as you're not too overly exhausted, if you are, you might need to change your diet or find a different job, honestly, because only living two days per week is not living at all. On that same note, if you can afford it or if you can manage it, try to live very close to your workplace because driving one to two hours in traffic back and forth every day will destroy your sanity. It eats away at your life, your free time. Like, imagine if that you could watch your life all over again like you're a spectator or like in a with a replay feature from a video game. And uh, every single day, five to six days a week, you're spending four hours in your car driving to and from work. How boring. Think of it like this. You, may, you might have to take like a 20% pay cut, but if you could live within walking distance of your job, you're essentially getting 20% of your life and your time back. So you're still making the same amount of money without all the time investment. You see what I mean? Exercise if you are physically able to in any way that you can, all right? Not only will it help your anxiety, your depression, it will make everything in your life easier to manage. You will also gain confidence and you will notice a change in your body after three months of sticking to it. If you're feeling lethargic, low energy, low motivation, it will double these statistics. You will It's like power leveling in an MMORPG, but in real life. Just do it. If you're a very lazy type of person and you have just things piling up, just just commit yourself to one single chore a day. If, uh, like me, I can just knock all of them out that, as soon as they happen because I'm a completionist like that. But if you're not, just commit to just one, just one a day, and eventually you will have a, you know, no more chores left to do. Now, here's something. Don't beat yourself up for past mistakes or decisions, okay? So, for example, like social situations when you were a teenager or a young adult or whatever, you could look back and be like, oh man, when that girl talked to me, I was dumb and I didn't pick up that she was trying to ask me out. Now I live my life in regret, blah, 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 blah. You, you don't, you, you didn't have the mental fortitude back then to handle it. It's not your fault. It's okay. But now that you do, there's no going back in time with the powers that you have now to change things. So don't beat yourself up about it. Think of it like this, okay? Remember when you were a small child, how weak you were? You couldn't, like, pick up very heavy objects as a little six-year-old, could you? Well, now that you're older, you obviously can because your body has matured, your muscles have grown big and strong. It's the same in these weird, awkward social situations. You simply didn't have the mental muscle at the time to lift the heavy object. So just think of it like that, okay? Here's one for you internet bros out there. Just stop trying to argue with people over the internet. Unless you think that your argument is going to actually matter 10 years from now. The only reason to argue with people is for trolling purposes, which I'm all for, by the way. But uh, you, you see people like all the time on like YouTube comments and Reddit and even 4chan and they're just arguing for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of replies back and forth, back and forth. What's the freaking point? Now, here's one I've always kind of preached on my video game videos and not so much these kinds of videos, but start viewing things as an experience and not as some sort of achievement or, you know, progression, okay? You know, think of it like you go to a class and you only focus on your grade, only focus on your grade. Well, what about everything else that that situation presents? There's many different opportunities to make friends, funny memories that everyone will remember until they're old and dying. There's so many things that you miss out on if you're just focused on the one singular meaningless goal that won't really help you or be memorable in 10 years. I'm not saying go fail your classes to be the class clown or anything, but you know, don't be so damn serious all the time. Like if you're playing a video game like Call of Duty or something and you're in last place, you have the most deaths, you haven't killed any other enemy players, who cares? Don't worry about your progression or your goals. Just think of the experience. You got to shoot a virtual gun at virtual dudes and throw virtual grenades and watch virtual pixels explode. What a fun time to be alive. 
Find humor in the fact that some random kid is screaming at the top of his lungs at you over voice chat because your kills aren't higher than your deaths on the score screen. Like, it's so ridiculous. If you're someone that has to go to a crappy job that you hate all the time, if possible, try to get a work from home job. Okay, now, I've only ever worked retail, and uh, now that I'm a YouTuber, I just look back and I'm just like, why did I spend all those years doing that when I could have just made goofy internet videos while sitting here just in front of a computer? It's laughable almost. Now, uh, again, I did make more money in retail. YouTube doesn't really pay my bills, so I am kind of living off savings. I'm just hoping that maybe one day my YouTube will actually take off and allow me to survive in this world, but for now, it just feels nice. Here's an unusual suggestion, but I am a gaming channel playing Minecraft. Now, let me just explain, because I know Minecraft's for children, Minecraft's a kid's game. No, it's not. It was. It didn't start as a kid's game. It started as a literal person on 4chan making a fun little block game. That's how it started, for those that don't know. But anyway, like every few years, I'll just randomly play it. I'll just jump on a random server and play it, and then I'll find myself 16 hours later. I've created these wild, crazy bases. I've figured out all the fastest ways to like get enchanted weapons and stuff, and if I'm on a server, the, the PvP is excellent. But just, here's the thing, like, if you make a new friend or, or you know, anyone, like, a family member, of an internet friend, anybody, and you play Minecraft with them, it's a whole different freaking can of worms. It's a, not a can of worms, but a, an experience. It, it's wild. Everyone builds differently. I tend to go for the more underground bases. Sometimes I'll do a base near a river or something. But, you know, like, one guy will build a castle on a hill, someone else might make a, you know, a giant field full of crops. Everyone's got their own little wild play style that they just happen into. It's very therapeutic. And this is coming from someone that used to run a Minecraft channel, okay? It's, uh, it's just a whole, like, there's not a, there's not a game like it. There's not a game that you can just play with people that you barely know and just have an, a unique experience every single time. Most of these games, it's the same experience. You load up a match in Call of Duty. Oh, look, I got this stupid map that's the border crossing with a bunch of exploding cars. It's the same thing every game. You shoot at each other, the cars explode. When you play Minecraft, you're dumped in the wilderness, the desert, whatever. You build a thing. You build a different thing every time. I've never built the same base multiple times unless I'm playing on like a competitive PvP server or something. And this last one is a little bit lame, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Getting an electric kettle. That's right, a little kitchen appliance that boils water. I grew up my entire life without one of these things because I grew up insanely poor. And uh, man, it is a life changer in the kitchen. Like, it's not just for like boiling like tea and coffee. It's ramen and all types of different cooking. It boils way faster than putting water on a pot on a stove. This thing is a game changer, and they're so insanely cheap. I think I got mine for $7 at the time. It was marked down, but still, it's it's the most used kitchen appliance that I have ever used. I, I think everybody should have a damn kettle to heat water in. I'm serious. Well, that's all I've got for today. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If this video f you found entertaining, well, that's not a sentence. If you found this video entertaining, then leave a like. I read every single comment because I don't have a life. And if you want to financially help me out, click the thanks button for a one-time donation or click the join button to become a channel member. Uh, there's really not much there for you. You get access to private personal videos, but unless you play video games that I play, there's really not a whole lot there for the regular viewer, I guess. Anyway, with that said, click the video on the right side of your screen. It's a really good one. Make sure you're subscribed because I make videos every single day on this channel, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.